Hey everyone, welcome back. We're going to be talking about some of the tools that I use to check color contrast and to make my designs a bit more accessible. Then we'll jump quickly into Figma to debunk some things around our contrast ratios being a rule rather than a guideline. So let's look, take a look at ColorSafe over here. So this is ColorSafe. It allowed me to pick color palettes based off of my goals. And let's just jump in and get started. And I'll show you what that means. So I'm going to click get started and right here we can set up our canvas and our text. So I can set up background colors, I can set up font families, all the font size, font weights. I can even set up standards. You can go and learn more at the website over here, but typically we're aiming for AA standards. And this is what the text would look like. I think this is fine to just get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click generate color palette. So what this does is it generates a ton of color palettes based off of different colors like green, blue, purple. You can also sort by all and you'll be able to see all of the contrast applicable colors. So what I can do here is I can pick this purple and you'll notice that the current ratio meets the AA standard. I get a little hex value here that all I need to do is click on and I copies to my clipboard and I can bring that right into Figma and start creating a color palette based off of some colors that I've picked, which is really cool. You can see that this one's been copied. You can see all these other ones over here, which is really great. And you can just start over if you want to, if you want to go back and set up that canvas again. Now the next tool I like to use is called Colorable. Now I just love this interface. It's just nice, it's punchy, and what's really nice and cool about it is that you can see if it's AAA compliant or AA compliant right at the top, you don't necessarily need to set anything, you can just jump right in and start fiddling away. If you have a couple of colors that you already have in mind, it's a great way to just kind of input them right away. Another thing is like if you really want to just fiddle around with colors, this is probably the best tool to do so. So you can see like white on this very very light sky blue, fails in all aspects. And you'll see that it still keeps on failing probably until we get a little darker. So you can see it's, this is good for larger text and smaller text. And now it's AAA compliant. So this is another really cool tool. What you can also do is you can reverse these and you can see what it looks like reversed when you reverse the foreground and the background colors. So this is an awesome tool if you wanna fiddle around with colors really quickly or test a color or hex code that you have in mind. Now, what I typically use are Figma plugins because it's just so quick for your actual workflow. The main Figma plugin that I actually use is called Contrast. So I'll bring that up right now. So I have a couple of buttons here. And I'm gonna show you how that works with contrast. But what I really wanna show you is that these buttons are actually accessible. And you know, they, they are readable. And, um, but I think that they're not the greatest. So I'll show you what that looks like. So all I need to do is I need to select this text inside this frame and it'll show me exactly here if it meets the contrast standards. You'll see the foreground and background and it meets all the standards are right across the board. Let's see, even with the orange. Same thing, it'll show you the contrast ratio here as well. And I find this is like the quickest way to just test your designs, even when you're just creating concepts. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to actually create a double, a duplicate over here, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like with white. So I'm gonna change that. And another great thing about this is that it's going to update on the fly. So let's go and pick white. The color hex code for that is FFF for short form or three or uh, six Fs. Now what we got here is that it totally fails. The contrast ratio is not good enough and I think it's going to fail as well for the orange. Let's change that. And yet yeah, it does fail here for the orange. The contrast is just a bit better than it is on the blue. Oh, actually, no, it's the, oh yeah, it's just a bit better, just a tad. So let's just close this plugin. And if you notice, I feel like I can read the white on the blue better than I can read the black on the blue. 
And so this is gonna come down to you testing with your users because those are guidelines and you don't necessarily need to follow them like their law. So take that into account when you're designing and coming up with color palettes or intended uses for your colors because there may be a case like this where a white on a blue may actually be really readable and it doesn't necessarily meet a contrast standard. So keep that in mind. Another plugin is Stark, which is pretty, pretty popular. All you need to do is like check contrast. So I need to select a layer. So I'm gonna select that layer and check the contrast really quickly. So you can see that it comes up right away. You can upgrade and pay. But I mean, I feel like this does it much better. Color, where is it? Contrast, right here. This plugin is much better just because you can do it on the fly. You don't need to keep on selecting it or closing it, or you don't even need to pay for it. So this is a great way to check um, what colors will work right on the fly. So like I said over here, keep that in mind. Um, these are guidelines, they aren't necessarily law, so use what is best for you and what's best for your users. And yeah, that's basically it for the tools that I use to check my contrast.